Hello everybody, we're back. This is the third course for our free Google Tag Manager course. I'm sorry it took so long to create the third one. I got a lot of things to deal with, but now I'm back and I'm gonna make more of these more frequently. So in this video, actually in this video, I was going to uh, collapse, how to implement your Google Analytics, Google Ads, and your Facebook pixel codes into one video. But then I thought when you search by how to uh, implement Google Analytics, I don't want to, I don't want to make somebody wait like seven minutes to get to Facebook. So I'm going to break it out to three. So in this one, we're going to cover Google Analytics. I'm going to cover Google Analytics Universal uh, since it's still the most used one. And I'm going to cover Google Analytics 4. In this example, we're going to continue with Yi John Daria's web, web page. Um, he already has Google Analytics and I didn't want to <laughs> remove it for the sake of the course, but pretend that this doesn't exist. We're going to uh, put a new one into this website. So let's go back to Google Analytics. Here's what you're going to do. You are going to go to your admin, then property settings and copy the tracking ID. Then go inside your Google Tag Manager, click on Tags, and create a new one. Tag Configuration. For this, we're going to use uh, Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. For tracking type page view, it's going to stay like this. Uh, for this, you're going to select your uh, variable for Google Analytics. We're going to use the Google Analytics ID here. There are two ways to set it up. The first one is creating a new variable uh, you're just gonna co uh, paste your code here the second one is um, go to your variables then here we already have one let, let me delete this so we can <laughs> new variable then you're gonna scroll down and find google analytics settings then paste your tracking id here save it i'm not going to change the name so let's go back to tags create a new one select this one and choose our google analytics uh, code then for the triggering we're gonna hit all pages since we're gonna track page view in all of our pages I'm gonna click add, save, I'm gonna save here. Then we're gonna hit submit. Um, this one, I don't usually fill this out. The reason for this is uh, when you make a lot of changes and when you break something in your website, you wanna go back here and see the changes uh, you made. So it is better to use it. Let's, for the sake of this course, let's use it. Google Analytics implementation. Wait, publish. It's published. Let's go back to our website. I'm gonna reload this page. And voila. Let's check our tracking ID. It ends with 886-1. Eight eight six dash one. It's it's implemented. Let's go and try for the Google Analytics four. I already opened up a Google Analytics interface for you. Um, again, we'll go to admin. Then we're gonna hit data streams. We're gonna select this one. The measurement ID is already given. Let me copy it. Let's go back to Google Tag Manager, Workspace, Tags. Then we're going to click on New. And for this, we're going to hit this. Paste it. Then for Trigger, we're going to choose All Pages. Save. And Voila, Google Analytics, sorry, 
x for implementation. Cool. Let's publish this one. Let's go back to his web page and reload the page again. And which one is mine? Let me check. <laughs> um, T E Y. T E Y. That's it. Um, for the next one, we're gonna um, we're gonna study how to implement Google Ads tracking codes. Um, I think that's it. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Wait before you go. I'm constantly looking for amazing people to come join our team. So if you're passionate about Google ads and you're passionate about customer success, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. And we'd love to see you as a part of the solutions 18. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we actually know what we're doing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We shoot a video every single day and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. Lastly, if you have questions, comments, concerns, confessions, or you just hate my face and my voice, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. We get very little human interaction, and even the heckling is something that I kind of get a kick out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers if you're a subscriber. Don't forget to apply if you're interested in working at Solutions 8. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.